everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am. So if you love recipe videos like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you how to make my delicious roasted salt and pepper pumpkin seeds. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you how to make my delicious roasted salt and pepper pumpkin seeds. Now these are really easy to make and I love this time of year because pumpkins have started to grow and I really love the taste of pumpkin. I love using it in lots of different dishes but the one thing I don't like is the waste from a pumpkin. So when you cut a pumpkin open there are lots of seeds inside and we tend to just discard those and throw them away when I didn't know this until last year. You can actually cook them and eat them. So I thought that I would cut a pumpkin open today and cook the seeds. And while I was doing that, of course, I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious roasted salt and pepper pumpkin seeds. Firstly, I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees. What I'm going to do is cut the pumpkin in half, like so. Oh, if I can. Yep. So I'm just going to cut the pumpkin in half. And as you can see, there are the seeds in the middle. So I'm going to scoop out the seeds as best I can from the pumpkin. And I'm going to put these into a separate bowl. And I will wash those under the tap in a moment. Um, and then I will roast them, but I'm just going to remove all the seeds first and I will also roast the pumpkin today as well um, and I'm going to use that in another recipe as I said I really like pumpkin and I also really like the seeds now and the seeds you can have as a snack you could have um, with soup as well they make a really nice snack and they, they taste good in all sorts of different meals as well. So I like to have the seeds instead of like bread in soup, instead of like croutons and things as well. In salads, they go really nicely in salads when you roast them. So yes, I'm just going to discard of the seeds into these bowls. Not discard, but take remove the seeds and I shall go and wash them now. My oven has preheated and I have um, washed the pumpkin seeds so I removed the stringy bits from them and I washed them and I've just patted them dry between these two bits of kitchen towel and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get them off the kitchen towel and into the baking tray as best I can like so. These weren't obviously the biggest pumpkins, so if you had bigger pumpkins then you would obviously get more seeds. But I am the only person who really eats these in this house, so I'm glad it wasn't such a big pumpkin. Um, otherwise the, the pumpkin seeds will last for a while though once you've roasted them. They'll last for a good three weeks in an airtight container, so you don't need to worry about that. But yeah, I'm glad the pumpkin wasn't any bigger as these are just for me so and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil to the pumpkin seeds as well so I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil over the top like so and these will make the pumpkins go really lovely and golden brown so I've done that and then I'm going to add some pepper as well so I'm going to add a teaspoon of pepper, like so, not too much, just a little, and then some salt as well. So probably about a teaspoon of salt to this as well, and I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my hands, they are clean, I promise you, and I'm just going to mix the salt and pepper and the olive oil into the pumpkin seeds and then once everything is well mixed together like so I'm going to put these into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes they should go a lovely golden brown colour at the end fingers crossed 
So I'm going to put these into the oven now. The pumpkin seeds have cooked and as you can see, they're a lovely golden brown color. So I'm going to set these aside and leave them to cool. The pumpkin seeds are lovely and cool now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer these to a small airtight container. I'm using a mason jar that I think I got from Ikea um, probably about two years ago now. I think they do sell these still as well. Um, you can use any type of airtight container though. You could use a Tupperware box if you wanted to as well. So yeah, any type of airtight container. And as I mentioned earlier, these will last for about three weeks in an airtight container. So all I've got to do now is close the lid and put these in the covers and then eat them as a little treat for me. That's how you make my delicious roasted salt and pepper pumpkin seeds and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, I'm off to eat these as a tasty treat for me. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.